Hello everyone! This is Blackbird Hopes. And today we're wrapping up our series in, in which we get a MOAB with every shotgun. And uh, this is obviously the KSG, which probably is my favorite shotgun. Um, I, I said that we'd have a little surprise in this video, and uh, I'm not too sure if this qualifies. But uh, instead of a single MOAB, this is a double MOAB with the KSG. And um, I think the KSG is the best shotgun because it has, it has great damage. Uh, it has, has great range for a shotgun, as you see right there. It's got some great range. Um, but the only problem is that it's, it's a pump action shotgun. Uh, that's the only downside to this uh, to the shotgun. But if you can make a quality shot, um, as long as you can make a quality shot for the first shot, then I think it'll be fine um, most of the time. But um, of course, you're still going to get random hit markers. You know, that's just Modern Warfare 3. That's, that's part of the game. And, uh, and it comes with the territory, but, um, so as long as you get that first shot, I think you'll be fine, but, um, the Striker used to be the best shotgun before it was patched, um, according to YouTube videos and, uh, and what I've seen and from what I've heard, uh, because I really don't know firsthand, because I got my Xbox just recently, just maybe a few months ago, um, but supposedly the striker was absolutely ridiculous. It was insane. Um, but I don't think it's all that great now. I, I think it's kind of overrated, um, which uh, w which is kind of strange because uh, like people talk about how the the striker is uh, is is um, overpowered and everything. But I don't I don't really think it is. Um, it's it's not that great now. Like it'll take three shots to to kill someone. Um, but I guess it all depends on what you on what you prefer but um now that this series is wrapping up I, I want to know what your favorite shotgun is and uh and, and I want to know what your least favorite shotgun is uh my favorite shotgun is is definitely the KSG um and I don't think it's close really uh my least favorite shotgun is easily the Spaz and I don't think that's close at all either but uh let me know in the comments below um what is your favorite shotgun and what is your least favorite shotgun um Today, I want to talk about fanboys. Um, I really don't understand fanboys. Um, people talk about them all the time on uh, on Twitter and uh, like YouTube. And big YouTubers usually hate fanboys because they try to ruin their streams or um, just something like that. And and that's how they become fanboys. Usually, uh, usually they get mistreated by. Uh, by a big YouTuber or uh, like something like that happens like they'll be in a stream with them or they'll be in a lobby with them and the uh, YouTuber might act like a uh, I don't want to say the word but the YouTuber may act like uh, like a douchebag or something like that and uh, and and that person will hold this grudge or this vendetta against that YouTuber and will change his YouTube name to a similar name uh, but I really don't understand fanboys at all. Uh, they're they're funny in a way, but they're also sad in in another way. And uh, I don't know if I want to rant about fanboys or just talk about how funny they are in general because I think they're hilarious. I think they are freaking hilarious. Um, but I guess you're doing something right if you have fanboys. Um, you know, th there's a saying that uh, that imitation is the highest form of flattery. Which is which is what I think about when I think of fanboys, um, but being a fanboy is one thing, but pretending to be someone else is is much worse than just copying someone's gamer tag. Um, if you don't know what a fanboy is, it's it's just someone who has who has a very similar gamer tag as a YouTuber. It's uh, it's it's nothing too serious. It's nothing it's nothing that uh, that's you know it's not really bad in the game. It's just it's just something that's it, it's just part of the game. In my opinion, um, but it, I think it's funny because when you see these uh, these fanboy names to the untrained eye, it looks it looks the same. It looks it looks like that. It looks very legit um, most of the time. Uh, but uh, for instance, uh, my gamer tag is Blackbird Helps, but a fanboy might have an X at the end, or maybe a letter might be left out. Maybe an I might be a one or something. Um, and to the untrained eye, you probably won't notice the difference. Um, and sometimes, like YouTubers, don't have their uh, their gamer tags um, in the open. Like they might not have it on their uh, YouTube page. Um, 
Actually, uh, my brother probably has a very easy gamer tag for uh, you fanboys out there. Uh, but anyways, I'm not going to give anybody ideas. Uh, but anyways, um, I think it's important for everyone to have their own identity. And once you change your gamer tag to some YouTuber's gamer tag, you lose what makes you unique. And, uh, and I think people think less of you when you have a gamer tag that isn't unique or, or that, isn't, that isn't yours. Um, I mean, even if, it, even if it's not unique, if it's a similar name to a big YouTuber, I think people will, will take you less seriously. Um, and, and I actually have a fanboy friend, uh, I won't say his name, but I actually, I actually thought he was the YouTuber. Uh, so, so, you know, of course I was, you know, I was happy that, um, that he, um, like sent me a friend request and everything. I really don't know why he sent me a friend request. Um, so, so of course, you know, I joined his, his, um, I joined his party, um, after he sent me an invite and I, um, I immediately knew it was him because, you know, he sounded nothing like him and, uh, but it turned out he was pretty cool. So, uh, I mean, he was a pretty cool guy, so I kept him as a friend. And uh, he's changed his gamer tag since, but, uh, but anyways, I, I thought that was interesting. And uh, I actually have a pretty funny story to tell you, but I think I'm running out of time in this video. So I might tell you that story about the fanboy maybe in the next video or the video after that. Um, but I want to know what you guys think of fanboys. And I want to know what is the funniest fanboy name you've ever seen or the most convincing fanboy name that you've, that you've ever seen. Uh, let me know in the comments below. I really want to hear them. I think, I think it's absolutely hilarious. I think it's very funny. And uh, also, don't forget to, don't, don't be mad if someone changes their gamer tag to something that's similar to yours. Um, like I said before, imitation is the highest form of flattery, or like one of the highest forms of flattery. Uh, but that's about all I have for you today. Let me know if you want to see a striker MOAB. I really am unsure, but uh, some viewers are very ruthless about uh, about the striker, and, and they might be pissed about uploading a striker MOAB. So, so I might just leave it out. I'm not too sure, but uh, let me know what you thought of the video. Leave a like or a comment if you feel like it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.